Hey there, Grateful Gang. It's Lauren here, the Gratitude Addict. It is Thursday, July 20th. I am back from New York City, um, had breakfast with Riley, went for a walk yesterday, and we actually opted not to go to the Union Square Green Market uh, because the day was so full the day before. I thought, you know, it would be hectic. She had to get back to work it by a certain time. So I, we opted to rather than rush to get there, we'll do it another time. And we opted to have a long leisurely breakfast and I'm back home. Today, I have another really special day. I am meeting a relatively new contact who I met a few months ago, um, who happens to be local, which is really unheard of in my area. Her name is Dr. Peggy DeLong. She's known as the gratitude psychologist. And um, we have met on Zoom a few times, or on StreamYard rather. But today, she's only 20 minutes from me, which is really kind of crazy because I really, if you can't tell, I am, I am in a rural area of, of New Jersey. So um, yeah, she's local. So we had a lunch scheduled a few weeks ago, weeks ago. We needed to reschedule. So that is today. And I'm looking forward to meeting her in person. It's so rare that these wonderful other, you know, other gratitude spreaders that I get to meet them actually in person. Um, so it's gonna be a real pleasure. I've got a new shirt on today. What does it say? Gratitude, gra grateful every damn day. There you go. I just got this recently and uh, it is going to be another hot one today. Yesterday reached uh, over a hundred. I think my car on the way home from the city said 101 at one point. It was hot and it's only, I think it's only 10 o'clock in the morning right now and it is hot already. So a nice sleeveless tank is exactly what I need. So um, yeah, join me as I meet Dr. Peggy. She is lovely and I know we're, we've already hit it off on StreamYard. So it's not a matter of, you know, whether we hit it off because we already have. So it's going to be nice having lunch with her. So hope you can join me and um, you know, we can spread gratitude. She's got a really, really powerful story. She's gonna be on my broadcast in September. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm organizing a, uh, I haven't really announced it yet, but I, I am organizing a special event on September 21st, which is World Gratitude Day. I am organizing a summit of some of sorts, um, or a round table, more like a round table, called the Women of Gratitude. And I'm asking some of my fellow gratitude spreaders who are women to join me. And, and we're gonna have a round table discussion that will be live, but also recorded on World Gratitude Day. So she has agreed to join me for that and be on the broadcast. So join me as I meet her in person today. What a, what a pleasure. And, you know, every day I wake up and while I may be in pain, I am just so grateful for this life. I don't want to say I've been given, I've worked hard for this life. Um, but I've been given the opportunity to have my eyes open to see it. And that is through gratitude. So join me and I hope wherever you are, you're staying cool today. Let's go. Alexa, what's the weather today? In Asbury, it's 88 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Today, you can look for some sun and thunderstorms with uh -oh. a high of 97 degrees and a low of 71 degrees. By the way, there's a heat advisory for that area until Thursday, July 21st, 8 p.m. Yikes. Got to stay cool today. It's going to be a hot one. Alexa tells me that it's going to be a hot one. So, and yesterday was just brutal too. We we had some rain like two days ago. We have not had rain most of the summer. Rob, who is normally tied to the our lawn on the weekends, he's only had to mow like once or twice. So uh, yeah, it's going to be another hot one. And I know it's not just here where I am. So I hope you guys are staying cool today. Hey gang. So I told you I was having a exciting meeting today with Dr. Peggy DeLong, the gratitude psychologist. And here we are. We've had a lovely lunch talk about gratitude pretty much the entire time um and she's going to be on my show as i mentioned earlier in september and also a part of the uh women of gratitude forum i'm doing in september but it's just such a blessing to have somebody one of my contacts so close by within 20 minutes so it's been lovely to connect with you oh she gave me this gratitude gratitude bracelet let me see if i can show this this last one i'll show it in the group later
very first one and it's got a lovely card that goes with it she makes these and she sells them on her on her website is it dr peggy Dole? uh love in a bracelet that one. love in a bracelet, love in a bracelet. Okay. i will put more information in attitude of gratitude with chronic pain later and it came with a lovely card so thank you for making that we're actually getting ready to put on actually this in the video too sharon sarago walters made these gratitude sunglasses so we are looking at life through the lens of gratitude and it has been such a pleasure meeting with you, Peggy. Same here. Thanks for having me. You guys will see more of her soon. Well, that was tons of fun meeting Dr. Peggy DeLong, the gratitude psychologist. We had an amazing lunch that we were talking for a couple hours. It seemed like no time had passed at all. And while we had met on StreamYard a few times, meeting in person was such a treat. And I rarely, rarely get to meet these amazing gratitude spreaders in person because what are the chances of them being local? They're all over the world. Um, the bracelet I was trying to show you unsuccessfully in the restaurant because I can't figure out how to do two things at once. She makes these beautiful bracelets um, and she sells them on her website. Uh, it is loveinabracelet.com and I wanted to share a little bit of the card that accompanies the bracelet because it is just so beautiful. It says, gratitude heals. In the middle of the night, when worries of what if keep you awake, gratitude helps quiet your mind and helps you get back to sleep. When you do not have in life what you would like to have, gratitude for what you do have will not only elevate your mood, but will bring more of that into your life. That is because the emotional footprint of gratitude is that you already have what you desire. And this says to the universe, yes, more of this, please. Gratitude helps divert the energy of negative thinking that spirals into anxiety by sending that energy into a new positive direction. And there's more on these lovely cards that accompany the, bra the bracelets come in these little baggies with this little card. And she gave this to me as a gift, not expecting me to promote it or anything, but it is just so lovely and goes great on my arm that happens to have my gratitude symbol tattoo on it already. And I, I am just touched it was an unexpected blessing just having the opportunity to meet with her in person have lunch and hug in person was was such a treat so thank you guys i hope you enjoyed um watching you can reach dr peggy delong well you can find her she is in the group she's a member of attitude of gratitude with chronic pain but you can also find her at drpeggydelong.com that's dr PeggyDeLong.com. I'll put the notes in, or the um, website and the show notes here, but she is lovely. She really is just lovely. She is uh, as authentic as they get when she shares about her stories. She's she's a gratitude expert, but she's also a gra an expert on gratitude in relation to grief. And she has her own powerful story about losing her fiance when she was in, in, um, a, in medical school. Um, so she speaks from experience and even after all of these years, I think it's been 20, 26, 27 years since she lost her fiance and she's now you know, married, happily married with, with three kids. Um, she wells up with tears. That is my kind of person. She is as authentic as they get. So if you're looking for a therapist, she also offers classes and she has several books out. So check her out. Um, it was a pleasure meeting with her and I will talk to you guys next time. The Gratitude Addict meets the Gratitude Psychologist. What a meeting, right? Power of, uh, power of the gratitudes at work over lunch. Peace and love, gang. Get your gratitude on.